Welcome, everybody, and thank you for being here today. I'd particularly like to welcome the Worshipful, the Mayor of Swale, Councillor Paul Stephen, and the Mayoress, Councillor Sarah Stephen, and representing Persimmon Homes South East, the Managing Director, Martin Crick. Welcome also to the many people who are here today who are dedicated to conserving, preserving and protecting the heritage of the South East. And to everybody else who's here, you know, simply by being here, you demonstrate how important it is to have a sense of the past and to look after it for future generations. My name's Sue Flipping, and I'm a member of Newington History Group. And we're here today because two organisations chose to help us do something both extraordinary and visionary for Newington's heritage. In March 2019, Thelma Dudley, the founder of Newington History Group, was invited to visit the excavation at Watling Pace through her contacts at Kent County Council. From that meeting, Persimmon Holmes generously gave Newington History Group permission to follow the archaeology. And that meant that Richard Thompstone and I became the link. We were able to let local people know what was happening, not quite in real time, but pretty much close to it, and telling them about the fascinating finds that were being uncovered here. Martin, we thank Persimmon Holmes, and we hope that other developers will follow your enlightened approach. The openness of Persimmon's homes was more than matched by SWAT archaeology, the team responsible for uncovering the small Roman town, 2,000 years old, it had lain undisturbed here. SWAT archaeologists were amazingly generous with their time and by sharing their knowledge. So the story of the actual reconstruction of the temple starts with a chance conversation between Richard, me, and Peter from SWAT Archaeology, just as the excavation was coming to an end. Peter told us that within the next couple of days, the foundations of the Romano-British temple would be covered up forever. And it was Richard who asked, is there any way the history group could save them? And with our, with our hours, we had won the support of the Newington History Group Committee, the Newington Parish Council, Persimmon Holmes had given permission for the flints to be removed, and Peter became the driving force of the project. And then, of course, as you all know, then came the dark days of COVID, but also they were brightened by the news that Persimmon Homes were generously allocating this piece of land for the reconstruction. Peter's thoughtful expertise and involvement throughout that time means that the reconstruction that you see here now is very close to the original. And I'm going to hand you over in a minute to Dr. Paul Wilkinson, and he will explain a little bit more about that. Uh, the reconstruction has been supported throughout by Persimmon Homes and its staff here. Newton History Group is so pleased to have been part of a project that demonstrates what can be achieved when organisations think beyond the norm when a housing developer actively encourages interest in an archaeological exav excavation, when an archaeological team rebuilds as well as uncovers, when a history group looks forward to the future as well as back to the past. And I'd like to hand over now to the archaeological director of SWAT Archaeology, Dr. Paul Wilkinson. Well, ooh. <laughs> a combination of dog barking, camera going off, and a mic. 
Um, yes, it's an incredible actually achievement, um, mainly to Peter and his team from SWOT Archaeology, uh, but also to Persimmon Homes, uh, having the foresight and, and funding to enable a Roman building which was uncovered as part of the excavations prior to development to be actually get lifted uh, stone by stone, brick by brick, and put onto a spot not that far away from where it actually was. And so what you have behind you is you know, a Romano Celtic temple, as we call it. I'm going to call it a Roman temple because Romano Celtic, Romano British, you know, these are just words. Um, what we have here is a religious building, but it's a pagan building. There's no congregation. The congregation is individuals, and they would come and see the priest here, and the temple would be the background to have the deity, the god, or the goddess statue in there, illuminated every morning by the sun rising and shining through the doorway to the, to the actual uh, statue there. They would meet outside at the altar, and an offering to the gods would be given, usually a lamb or fish or, you know, wheat or whatever, and they would ask the god for a favour, whereas totally different from uh, Christian religion where, you know, it's penance and forgiveness. You know, Roman religion was, you know, I want to get on the world, what can you give me? And, you know, for that reason, you know, it's, it's different, but it is still religion, it is still a focus for the community, and if they had problems or foresight or wanted to achieve things, they would actually come here, not on a designated day, there's no Sunday, you know, it was open all days, all hours. And, you know, when you died, you know, you could actually give money to the sort of the establishment and then be buried within the vicinity of where the god resides. So to them, it was a focus of the community. And this community itself is in a very, very interesting spot. Um, over there, um, the other side of the uh, railway embankment is the River Lippet, which runs down to the sea, basically. Um, there's a Roman temple where the sea and the river join together. It's called the Hello Goodbye Temple. And, you know, goods which have been made here in the pottery kilns would be shipped out by water to London and to the continent. And it was surrounded by farmland, Roman villas, who would then feed the community here. And you know, the road itself, the Great Road, called Caesar Street, like Key Street, that's where it gets its name from. Um, again, communication both to the continent and to London itself. So the key position, like Key Street, along Watling Street, and, you know, found... You know, because archaeologists these days are in before the developers are to ensure that you know our history is is preserved and recorded. And on this occasion, you know, due to the generosity of, of, of Persimmons, they didn't have to do it. You know, we've actually moved it stone by stone, and it's exactly the same size, same area, same alignment as it was on its original spot. So, you know, huge thanks to Persimmons. And I'd like to introduce now the chair of Newton Parish Council, Councillor Richard Palmer. Good morning, all. Welcome. Thank you to Sue for explaining the situation extremely well. So I don't need to bother with that, but I'd just like to say how much I appreciate everyone's efforts in doing not just today, but getting all this sorted out the ruins, the Roman temple, for our children in the future to see. History and our heritage is a part of what we are, and our children here from Newington School are our future. And they will learn from this, because there's nothing better than seeing an actual Roman temple. It puts the history lessons into perspective. And we can all learn from that, no matter what our age is. But I would like to say a big thank you to SWAT, I know it's all been said, to the history group of Newington, but especially to Persimmons, who, as it's all been mentioned before, didn't have to take on the task that they did, and I'm sure the whole village will benefit from that for years to come. Thank you. And to conclude the, uh, the, the talking part of this, if I can hand over to the Worshipful, the Mayor of Swale, Councillor Paul Stephen. 
Good morning, everybody. What a wonderful turnout for a wonderful thing that has been discovered here. And uh, you've heard the previous speakers saying about uh, how uh, everybody working together achieved this marvellous uh, Roman temple here. And it is uh, very important to Swale Borough Council, the heritage of Swale. And uh, we are steeped in history and we don't want to forget it. And this is a great reminder of what it's really about. So I'm not going to hold you up any longer, but just to say you've got history on your doorstep here. Enjoy it. Thank you. Now, one of his New England History Group's aims is to educate. And we're so pleased that this reconstruction, would you like to bring the children forward, uh, will be here to help teach current and future children about Newington's heritage. Now, to celebrate today, we've got Year 3 from Newington Primary School. They've been practising a song about the Romans. Now, it might be that you're able to pick up the chorus. So if you do, perhaps you'd like to uh, join in as the song goes on. In circa 43 AD The Romans came from overseas And thanks to archaeology We know a lot about them Gonna tell you how to eat
I'm all going to go home and practice that. <laughs> yes, of course. I wasn't actually going to speak this morning, but um, after that, I think that was phenomenal. Thank you very much. <laughs> and whilst I'm here, I would just like, on behalf of Persimmon Homes, to thank you all for coming today. Um, it's a, ma a marvellous turnout, and I'm so pleased that a developer for once can get a, a good word in the press. Uh, um, and, uh, and I'm so pleased that we've managed to be part of this historic occasion um, and preserving this monument for our young children here in, in the future. So thank you all very much. Thank you, Martin. And now the most important part of today. 12-year-old Ellie and her family were among the first to move into Watling Place while the excavation was still going on. She was one of the first to visit the open day at the excavation that SWAT archaeology arranged with Persimmon in 2019. Day by day, she has watched the foundations being reconstructed and Ellie decided that if anyone was going to be custodian of the temple, it was going to be her. So I'm invited, uh, sorry, I'm delighted now to invite Ellie to perform a kind of unveiling of the temple. Ellie. They say Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now, sadly, there was nothing uncovered with the temple that tells us which deity was worshipped there. However, temples are associated with other production sites around Britain. And it does seem that there, to the ancient mind, there was something so magical about the transformation of one thing into another. So taking clay and turning it into pots, that you did need to have the intercession of the deities to help you do it. So all I can say is whichever of the gods was looking down on us, I hope you all agree that the coming together of Persimmon Homes, SWAT Archaeology and Newington History Group has created something very special here, both for now and for future generations. That's the formal part of it today. Please take time to go and look at the amazing artefacts. Have a chat with the people from SWAT Archaeology. Come and have a good look at the temple and read the interpretation board that's been put up there. And once again, thank you so much, all of you, for being here today. Thank you.